actually in Spain Easter is huge. We are celebrating Easter. We are in our little bubble at home and uh, we are making a video, a fun science video about Easter and about eggs. I'm going to show you some incredible things that you can do with eggs. Uh, Caitlin, what have you done with the Easter Bunny that favors you so much? This was my little Easter Bunny egg bag that I found this morning by my bed. This was Caitlin's. <laughs> totally unfair. What's <laughs> happening here? Tell us. Um, mine had jelly beans and they were bigger. Yeah. Well, I want a carrot of jelly beans too. Anyway, I'm going to have to have a word with the Easter Bunny because I don't think that is very fair. So, some science about eggs. It's quite amazing and I'm just going to take a minute to do this and then we're going to wish you all um, Happy Easter. I actually kind of messed it up because these four eggs are different and I can't really tell them apart. It's cool because um, there's many different <coughs> techniques, sorry, to know what's happened to the egg inside. If you have them all in the fridge like I did and they are all different. One of them is boiled. One of them has actually gone off because I had it for a bit too long. The others are all right to cook but they are not cooked, they are raw. So how to find out about them? Different physics can be applied. Look, if I spin an egg and I tap it, obviously it's going to stop. That's what you'd expect. Oh, I just broke that one too. Oh, I can see it's actually boiled. The boiled egg stops when you tap it. I might do this on the plate. So it's spinning. As soon as I tap it, it stops. Spin, tap, stop. If I grab another egg that is not boiled and I spin it, when you tap it, it doesn't actually stop because the inside of the egg is still going because it's raw inside and I get the egg inside to spin. You stop the outside, but the inside keeps spinning. Ooh, magic, science. So that's what, how, how you can tell that an egg has boiled without cracking it and finding out that it, indeed it was actually raw and then you've messed it up. But one of these eggs is actually off. And what happens to an egg if you put it in water? Check this at home. Is it going to sink or is it going to float? Okay, that one sank. Oh, there's stuff. It's a little insect. All right, this one. Okay, that one sank. Okay, this one. Oh, that one floats. I can actually see the marking of them too. Um, the floaty one is making some gas. That means that one is probably off. So if an egg floats, I wouldn't really have it. I'm not going to have this egg. It floats. If I'm wrong, please comment on this video because I would like to know more about this science. But my theory, I guess, and I've heard about this, is that eggs shouldn't float. They do have pores to breathe because obviously there's a chicken there that would need to breathe. But when an egg is off, making a lot more gas than it should and it floats, then mm, that's not a good egg. So a little bit of science from eggs and they are amazing. <coughs> eggs, if you think about it, they've been around... Oh, man. Eggs have an amazing shape. They are really, really strong. If you hold an egg like this, try at home and you try to break it, there is no way you're going to be able to break it. I'm hurting myself now. You can try with two. In fact, it could hold your whole weight if you take not one egg, but a whole tray. If I get this tray of eggs and I stand on it, in theory, if I spread my weight well and all the eggs are perfectly put up, I could stand on them. I could also break one if I do it wrong <laughs> and then I'll have to recover that egg and eat it somehow. Shall I try? I'm scared. Let's see. Uh, I wouldn't use shoes actually because you need to spread your weight as much as you can and then and then oh my goodness oh my goodness you kind of feel <laughs> oh, i can feel it oh, I, so you kind of feel that you are spreading your weight i'm over a hundred kilos this is kind of ridiculous uh, but i'm there i'm there come closer 
And look, I, I, my whole half of this body is on the X. And now, oh my God. Oh, I just broke one. Oh, I broke another one. I'm going to stop. Oh, I broke two eggs. I was actually pressing quite a lot and I broke two eggs. That's going to be my afternoon tea. Be careful if you do this at home. And if you get any good um, experiments in where you're actually standing on the eggs, post down below because I want to see those moments. Otherwise, keep enjoying Easter and eggs and bunnies and have a great couple of days until school starts again in Tuesday. Um, we have a whole lot of people that are ready to wish you a happy Easter as well. So I'll get it started and then you're all gonna roll on. So happy Easter everyone from the fan science team. Actually, we need another one there. Happy Easter everybody. And see you next time. Happy Easter from everyone at fun science. Happy Easter from the Fun Science Team! Hi everybody! Happy Easter from the Fun Science Team! Happy Easter everybody! Happy Easter from the Fun Science Team! Happy Easter from the Fun Science Team! Happy Easter from the Fun Science Team! Happy Easter! Happy Easter from the Fun Science Team! Science team. Happy Easter from the Fun 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 Science Team. <laughs>